And next step is we are going to take this subframe out now. And um, yeah, take the subframe out and then we're going to fit the jig in, in place of the subframe. And hopefully that gives me a bit more space when it comes to cutting out and welding with the subframe out of the way. So let's go to time lapse and let's get this subframe out. Right, there we go then. So there's the subframe out. I did make a bit of a meal of that. <laughs> um, yeah, as you've just seen the subframe sort of tilted forward as I took the back bolts out and then, uh, yeah, I got myself in a bit of a pickle. But hey hey, we sorted it out. So um, we've got the tower bolts in both side. So this is the jig mark made. So it's got threaded bolts there um, and it picks up on the subframe 
bottom subframe mounts there so that's all bolted in now and the, just the whole idea of this is it should it gives me a bit more room underneath when I come to uh, cutting it all out and it gives me something to line back up with so I've got my mounting bolts in I know they're going to be in the right place so it's not it's not perfect it is still going to be a bit of a faff but I should be able to cut the metal out and uh, weld it back in and then drill the holes in the right place that's the theory um, for now I'm absolutely goosed engine and subframe out today and I'm just a bit worn out so I think we'll call that a day for the moment and uh, come back at it another day right so we're ready to start cutting this tow board out now as you can see I've got the pedals and everything out of the way I've got the steering rack out and I've got the steering column out just to give me better accessibility I think you've already seen this has got plates welded on the outside and the inside so there's this big plate here which has got a massive massive crack in it um, and and obviously you can see the weld marks from a patch on the outside as well so we're just gonna have to chop I'm gonna chop that whole lot out <laughs> um, yeah so I uh, just wanted to show you quickly so we've got some more bits off here there's the pedals uh, this is the battery cable so I don't know whether you saw it in the earlier episodes I could see it had been taped up look at that that's a, a fire waiting to happen there well that would have been arcing out so uh, that's not good uh, right, let's get the grinder out and make a big hole. Right, so there we go, a big hole. I've taken out some more of this soundproofing. Um, and in theory, that should allow me to repair this tow board here. And I can use the jig to line it back up with the subframe bolts. But it, to be honest, it is, still a, it is still a bit of a mess. I'm still not quite sure how I'm gonna do this. It's kind of one bit at a time, I think. Uh, now the old piece of metal that's come out let me tell you that weighs an absolute ton it is really really heavy um, I don't know what the thickness of the metal is that's been used on it the it looks really really thick where that has been patched um, but it is yeah it's proper heavy that bit is but again it didn't didn't stop it cracking again all cracked around there cracked around here and that is from just using mixing up solid subframe bolts with nylon ones subframe mounts with nylon ones well I had all three I had rubber nylon and uh, solid right so there's our gaping great big hole in the floor and I've got to be honest guys and girls I have 
completely lost my mojo over the last few weeks. I had a bit of a holiday over one weekend and I was just really struggling to get into the mood to get this done. This bit is horrible, I really don't, I do just need to get this sorted out and it will maybe motivate me to get on with the rest of it. I mean obviously I've done a lot of stuff so far but I'll be honest with you, I've not been working at the pace I usually work at, which um, yeah, I don't know, I, it gets me down a little bit, I set myself personal goals and uh, when I don't achieve them it gets a bit depressing but we are still making progress. So, um, I showed you this bit earlier, so this is the, oh my god, this part of the toe board here. We've got one, two, three layers. I'm pretty sure there's a fourth layer there because it, there's a reinforcing plate on there. And there is also another plate welded on the outside of here. So I've actually cut off the bit of the floor pan, which is that bit there. So what we should have, this is the shape I need for the actual toe board now. Um, like I mentioned, it is really heavy. So let's weigh it. Let's just see. So it weighs approximately one and a half kilos, that bit. So I've got some uh, sheet metal repair plate. This is 0.9 of a millimeter, which is when I measured that, that's what it was made from. There is a reinforcing panel which goes here, which I will spot weld on. But it'd be interesting to cut that out, put the reinforcing panel on and see how heavy <laughs> it is because this is just like a, it's a bit like a boat anchor. So let's do a bit of fabricating and um, get this piece done. That the, the toughest bit here is to get the profile of the curve. I've got the shape of the floor, but I can't just bend it around because there's so many layers there. But yeah, let's get that done. Hopefully, and we'll get it welded back in place and I will just feel a bit better about it all. And then we can start making more progress. Once that's done, we can then, I'll then cut out the floor pan, put a new floor pan in, out of ceiling, that'd be that side done. Easy, let's get going.
Right, so there are two bits. The observant of you will have noticed that I made that bit twice because I cut it slightly too small. Probably only by about a millimetre and a half, but um, I thought sort of, there's no point messing around trying to fill up a big gap with weld. So we've got a reinforcing plate on there now. Uh, weld through primer in between the layers. Um, it's pretty much the same shape as that. It's pretty good going. Uh, let's weigh it now. So that, that one was one and a half kilos. Um, let's see what this is with the reinforcing plate on. So half a kilo, just over. So there was pretty much one kilo of extra metal there that shouldn't have been there. So now, uh, just got to get this welded into the car. Easy. Right, so there we go, that's it, bit welded in for the heel board. You might have noticed I blew a few holes in it. That's because I had the welder up on quite a high setting. I really needed to, well, I wanted to make sure I got really good penetration. The downside of that is it makes it easier to blow holes in it. Um, obviously when it's just like panel welding and it's not structural, um, it's not as important, but on this, it's really, really important to make sure the penetration's spot on. Good bit is I can see the other side of the panel. So um, I've obviously had a look there and uh, it all looks good. So that's a bit of progress. I guess the next bit's probably gonna be cutting this floor pan out. Don't know how far I'm gonna go. I might go to here. Um, 
I'll need to unpick the front there. Yeah. This bit's a little bit complicated up here because there's multiple layers there. But yeah, I think the next job, let's cut this floor pan out.